hello friends welcome back <coughs> so this video is a uh, is continuation for video for vCenter administration so in my last video uh, I have just uh, uh, given a overview about uh, roles of uh, global permissions users and groups so I have received a request from one of my one of our friend to give one demonstration on this so yeah so definitely we'll do that so <coughs> so the request is like uh, uh, we need to create a user and group and the user should uh, able to power on the VM or create a VM but he should not have access to delete the VM so like it's like uh, doing the customization so for that uh, go to active directory and uh, first create a group new group I will create it as a we student go to and uh, user Okay, we will give some password. And we will make the member of this group. So we have created a group and we have created a user so group uh, like why you're creating group is like uh, we can give permissions to group so that what whoever the user is locked added to that group can get uh, the required permissions so if you go to <coughs> roles we are able to see couple of predefined roles so I will just clone one of the role I will take a administrator role just clone it and let name it as a group 2 some description so it is created so we'll if you see he is having full permissions so uh, I will just keep the permissions as it is but uh, whereas for virtual machines I will I will give only create VM and uh, 
or else we can just give create a v create pm and uh, yeah like create snapshot <coughs> so we'll give this perm <coughs> permissions to that privileges to that role and uh, this is done so now what we'll do is uh, group so we have to add the group we can give some description okay so group is created <coughs> so this is done once this is done we'll go to global permissions create a global permission select the active directory and now domain so now we'll search for that We student block to group role is a uh, okay. So we'll select propagate to child and click OK. So now everything in place now. So what I will do is the login V center using that V student block to user which we have created. So so this is the one we student block to is the user. So we'll use the same. To at the rate. So we <coughs> logged in successfully. So now it's time to test. By creating a VM. So I will create a dummy VM for now. Just click finish. <coughs> okay.
so now beam is created so if you see so if you see user don't have access to remove from inventory or delete the disk so <coughs> so he don't have a migrate option like uh, all the m options which are like uh, degraded because that he don't have access for all these things so he he should able to create a snapshot but <coughs> he don't have access to delete the snapshot also that's what uh, the permissions we have given so if you go here see you don't have options to delete the snapshot so like this we can configure uh, like we can customize the uh, rules so so this is what uh, uh, our friend asked for so I just given a demonstration and uh, one more question was like uh, in the recent appliance uh, where can we uh, like uh, where can we find option to reboot or shut down the appliance so that option is available here in the actions where you can shut down or reboot the reboot the appliance recent appliance and uh, for any issues like uh, you can create the bundles from here so this is the second question it was asked so yeah I believe this this video is uh, informative for you guys for any queries or any suggestions please reach me out on my mail id vstudentblog at the rate gmail.com thank you